There is nothing like a nice Epsom salt bath to clear your head. What's up guys, Freeman here with blah. Apparently it's not that good. Welcome back to another video. So I have recovered from yesterday. It's currently no vape day two. And as you can tell, I'm, pro I'm gonna be posting day one and day two in the same day because yesterday was immense. It was, it was, I was all over the place. I was Jekyll and Hyde. I wanted to vape, then I felt great. Then I was like, okay, I'll, I'll go for a walk. And I'm like, I'm going back inside. I'm going back inside because I, just walking past and the, the smell of cigarette smoke becomes all the more tantalizing when you have a nicotine in your system for, lunch, for uh, such a long period of time. Now, uh, today has been a lot better than yesterday. Uh, today I felt really good, I felt really optimistic and I felt not as driven as it will be in the next few days, but I feel quite driven. Basically because I think um, because of the oxygen supply. Basically, my two cents about why no vape is so effective for me, like within like three days I feel amazing is because of the oxygen supply. Um, whenever I, I have, well, first of all, one of my main benefits is a market reduce in general anxiety. And that's mainly because I'm breathing more and just general feeling and calmness and just a lot more energy and, and a lot more motivated. Now, the energy and the motivation mainly comes from the fact that I'm basically breathing more. So your body is no longer having to c cope with the nicotine. Also, if you haven't noticed, um, or oh, I've noticed this whenever I'm breathing, because your lungs are full, full of thousands of these tiny air sacs and the fun fact about the lungs, if you didn't sigh, you would die. Because the act of sighing is actually the body's way of expanding the unused air sacs in the body. I, I can't remember the, in the lungs, I can't remember the exact name for it. So when you sigh like that, it basically it keeps them expanded and it keeps them and it keeps them working. But if you if you didn't sigh, eventually you you lose more and more capacity to the point where you just asphyxiate. So keep sighing. It's not just because you're bored of listening to me. Anyway, <laughs> uh, so when you when you basically sigh, I mean um, when when you stop vaping and, and you get more oxygen because. Uh, wet because those little air capillaries are filled with smoke and it's actually quite hard to get smoke out of them Like I've actually noticed that when I, if I'm if I'm if I'm if I after, after a very very deep vape That I've had or even a cigarette sometimes I Would basically still be breathing out smoke for after like 10 breaths You could still see it and it's not because it was cold It's because there was still smoke all caught in those million thousands of tiny air sacs that all this smoke is caught into and so when you vape and, and you're not breathing properly, so if you're lying down or if you're sitting down on a chair or something, or if you're just, just you know, being lazy or something like that, just, you know, just relaxing, what will happen is that that air will get caught in your lungs until you sigh it out. So that always, that will reduce, ultimately reduce your oxygen supply here. But when you stop vaping, all of a sudden you have all these air sacs that are no longer semi-permanently clogged with the smoke. And then it's like, oh, I can breathe again. And that to me is the main benefit that I found from from vaping. The the next one is going to be that it also has an knock-on effect on my anxiety as well because I, I found that a lot of my anxiety comes from a, a negative thought spiral that I've created, um, and I could go a bit uh, go a bit into this. It's uh, it's basically about you notice you notice that you're tense, and so you which makes you anxious, and then the act of anxiousness makes you tense up more, and, and then you notice that you're tense, and then you notice the anxiety as well. It's like not only my tanks, but I feel anxious. Uh oh, tense. And it's an old spiral that I used to have a long, many, many years ago, and still sort of now. Whereas when I vape, I get like that. But then when I'm stop vape, when I stop vaping, the spiral doesn't even come into into being. Simply because I can breathe and I'm I'm not tense, and because I'm getting enough oxygen. And so what will happen is if you have this negative spiral of you feel tense, therefore you feel anxious, therefore you will tense up. And you won't even call it anxiousness. So you would just call it, oh, I just need, I just want to speak right because I'm, I'm tensing up, but it means that I'm not speaking correctly. So you'll do that. And to break that cycle, obviously for me was vaping. Uh, you could break it with meditation and sort of other stuff. But when, when I start vaping, all of a sudden I'm, I'm not tense because I'm getting more oxygen. So I'm more relaxed, you see. And the last benefit I find, I cannot wait for this, and it should be happening any day now, is absurd surges in motivation. And I think I mentioned this in a previous in my previous video, but just to mention again, we trade, or just even as a culture, we trade satisfaction for excitement. The satisfaction of, you know, finishing a long project that you like. The 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 the, the, the satisfaction of you know finishing some some design or finishing some piano piece or finishing some 
you know, I don't know, pick project XYZ, finished building a house when you've, the excitement of putting together a, a new computer or a piece of Ikea furniture, or the excitement of finally rewiring the, the rewiring a room in your house, or just satisfaction. Did I say excitement or did I say satisfaction? What I mean was, oh crap, I think I said excitement. Anyway, I, re replace, take all what I've said before, and if I said excitement, replace that with satisfaction. The satisfaction of getting all of those things. Whereas we replace it with excitement. When I say excitement, I mean the excitement of stimuli, the excitement of drugs, the excitement of sex, the excitement of food, the excitement of give me instant gratification. And vaping is no different. So we've trained the brain to only want excitement, not satisfaction. Excitement with the give me hits now, give me hit now. And because we're so used to it, we stop seeking satisfaction. So for me, when I stop doping up my brain with excitement, 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 excitement. All of a sudden, it's like, I have a crazy craving to complete something. <laughs> complete something. I must get to the end of the day and I'm super motivated to do stuff. So I'm just like, work, 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 work. Well, it's not really work, you know what I mean? Because it's not really this. Even at work, I just work like twice as hard. And I just like, I'm, I'm just in the zone because I want to get shit done. You know, and it's the same thing in my life as well. And I think that to me is because my brain is no longer being like, okay, no longer stimulation, stimulate, stimulate, stimulate. Now it's it's satisfaction, 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 satisfaction. That to me is the main benefits that I'm looking for and that I'm starting to see when I'm doing this. And it's been going well. It's been going well. I feel a lot better. I had a nice um, Epsom salt bath. I've chilled out a lot, as you can probably notice. Um, and I feel a lot nicer. Um, Epsom salt baths, if you're quitting smoking, absolutely great because they calm you down. Also, magnesium helps to deal with nicotine cravings. So does L-glutamine if you put it under the tongue. So does vitamin C. Write this down because I should make this into a video. <laughs> Freeman out. Oh, peace.